Hey folks, Daniel here. I'm filming the 20th video for the series that corresponds to the book Road of Happy Destiny. And since last year was 2020, and I turned 33 years old, which is the age that Jesus was when he ascended, and this is the 20th video, there's my logic. I figured it would just be a good time to share my testimony a little bit. Uh, and so, uh, I'd like to share a little bit about how I came to know Christ. Uh, when I was growing up, uh, there was a little bit of talk of God every once in a while, but not a lot. It wasn't until I was about 17 years old, not about, I was 17, I was in basic combat training, and uh, as an excuse, kind of, to just get away from the drill sergeants, uh, and a sergeant, by the way, is a sergeant, the, the J is silent, <laughs> um, and also because I was starting to realize that I wasn't going to be able to do the job I was enlisting to do. Uh, by myself. I needed something more. I knew I needed God to be a part of uh, that journey. Um, and so one day we went to a non-denominational Christian um, service and there was worship going on and there was a uh, there was a message and everything was very beautiful and nice and just it felt good. It felt right. But then during some worship song, and I don't remember what the worship song was, um, much like the light behind me, there was a really dark, overclouded day. Is when it, that was the day. It was, it was dark. It was overcast. It was cloudy. Not a not a peep of sunlight coming through the clouds anywhere. Well, during this worship song, I started to feel a little different. I don't even remember what was being said, but I looked up and the skylights all over the ceiling, all of them dark because of the overcast clouds. Um, one of them opened up. The clouds opened up and a beam of light shot through one of those skylights and lit me up like a spotlight, like a, you know, like a Christmas tree just lit me up. And I felt this unconditional love of God. I didn't know that's what it was at the time, but it just broke me. I started bawling unconditioned, like uncontrollably. It just didn't know what was going on. I had to excuse myself. And then when I came back, a couple of the soldiers in training came up to me and they're like, yeah, man, that was real. That was God. That was the love of God. That's what you felt. And I was stunned by this. Never experienced that before in my life. Later, I ended up getting baptized while still in training. Um, and, I, uh, and so that's how I started my walk with Christ. Um, I was aware of God early on in my life, but I didn't know how to make a relationship with Him or build one. I didn't know that I was loved by Him like that. I had no idea. I just knew that in my childhood, I was suffering through childhood depression. I didn't know that at the time either. So for a long time, I thought I was having a terrible childhood. Granted, we lived in poverty, not a big deal. Uh, we had always had food, we always had shelter. Um, a lot of times we had fun, but I, you know, I just, I, it was miserable for me um, because of the depression and some of the other things that were, that had happened up until that point of uh, being aware of it. Anyway, um, being aware of the, of the goodness that my childhood was. Uh, ultimately, I had great parents and they worked their butt off to provide for me and I'm deeply grateful to them. So mom and dad, I love you so much. Thank you for sacrificing so much for me. I appreciate that a lot. Uh, words can't exp words do don't do justice in any way for that, and so I'm not going to even try. Not on this video. Uh, but I will say, though, that uh, I was warned when I was in training uh, from a young lady that was also there in training, of course. Uh, she had mentioned the fact that when a person decides to dedicate their lives to Jesus, the enemy gets pretty upset and worried, and he goes on the offensive. He goes on the attack. And the walk with God becomes difficult. All of a sudden, challenges start coming into the life. And, um, and just demonic attacks start taking place. From the moment you're baptized and you make that declaration, uh, and again, baptism isn't required for salvation, but once a person comes to believe in Jesus, they are saved. And they make that declaration. They said, so this, this young woman said, that, hey, when I, was, when I got baptized, after that, almost immediately... I started getting attacked on a regular basis spiritually, and it was very tough from that point forward. And it's been tough ever since. Get ready. And uh, so that's that's the truth, and it has been that way. It's been very difficult. I've gone through a tremendous amount of trial and tribulation in my life, and uh, God does say in Scripture to count it joy when you're encountering various trials, uh, because the testing of your faith produces patience, and to let patience have its perfect work, so that we would become perfect and have endurance. Um, now. I apologize for the bright light. I'm uh, not able to block that very well. A little bit. Okay. Um, so when you when a person comes to believe in Christ, they get baptized, they start that walk, just be prepared. It's going to be difficult. 
but this life isn't supposed to be rainbows and butterflies. Life's not fair. And it was unfortunate to learn that the hard way. Life isn't fair. We're attacked, you know? Life is for four things. It is to love God, to learn, to help others, and to help others do the same two things. Love God and learn. We're going to help them do that. Hopefully they help the, us do the same thing. And, uh, and we move on forward from there. So there's my general testimony. Um, I have a lot more to share about my story. Some of that will be in the book. Most of it won't. Uh, but perhaps on the next video I'll share a little bit more of what I got going on or what I had going on. Uh, and what life was like, what happened, and what it's like now. So I'll be sharing that here shortly. Uh, it's my most sincere prayer in this moment that God bless you continually and abundantly beyond what you already deserve, that he bring redemption and restoration into your life, and that you just enjoy the rest of this day and the rest of this week, the rest of this year, and just keep seeking after him because he misses you and he loves you desperately and he just can't wait for you to have a similar relationship to him that he wants you to have with him. Uh, remember one last thing before I let you go. God's will and his desire for things aren't always the same. So I'll let you ponder on that a little bit, and I will uh, perhaps bring it up in the next video or two. Keep watching, and thank you so much. Please do subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to get to a, a certain amount of subscribers so that I can market this appropriately with a custom URL. So thank you so much for that, and uh, hopefully not too long from now that goal will have been reached. So again, thank you so much, and God bless. You take care now. Bye-bye.